What is up my valley peeps, Cadian here. Kamen Rider has had many series, and with how many there have been, there is a lot of room for creativity, in the form of creating your own riders, or forms for existing riders, and whether it be for an existing series of rider, or one of your own imagination. So in today's video, I will be talking about three riders for existing series that I've come up with. One for each of my top three rider series, Build, Zero One, and Revice. This won't be my first video on my original ideas. I've previously talked about Ultraman fan projects of mine, along with my Tokyo Inspired OC project, Stalgist the Amber Saviour. So go check those out if you wanna. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Join my Patreon for £2 a month to see videos early. And now, let's get started. So the three I'll be talking about in this video are from a project I like to call Kamen Rider Cross Generations and going in order of the series they're from, we'll start with Build. So my main Build OC is called Kamen Rider Flare, designed by Dark Tidal Wave, with the emblem designed by Marcolios. This guy was actually designed a couple years ago. Flare uses the Phoenix and Robot Fall bottles together with the Hazard Trigger in the Evil Driver to transform. My sources of inspiration for Flare were the Evil Driver, my favourite driver from Build, and one of my favourite drivers of all time, and Phoenix Robo, my favourite of Build's best matches. The Hazard Trigger is there, because that particular configuration of the driver with those full bottles in is something I had sitting on my desk for quite a while. Anyways, Flair's real name is Harima Takamura, a test subject in the old world of Build, who, after regaining his memories in Build's new world, worked closely with Sento Kiryu, being given his own Evil Driver replica, safe for human use, full bottles, and the Hazard Trigger tracking down and fighting remnants of downfall after the end of Build New World Greece. This story would be explored in a Build spin-off drama I would call Kamen Rider Build spin-off drama Ignition. His catchphrase is now, burn in eternal hellfire. For a quick comparison, here's Flair with the two official Evil Driver users. Flair is closer to Mad Rogue in that they both use full bolts to transform. Next up, we're shot rising with the first season of Reiwa Kamen Rider, Zero One. My main Zero One OC is Kamen Rider Desna, made by Koei Kefa, with the emblem once again created by Marcolios. Like with Flair, this guy was designed a couple years ago. To access his base form, Desna uses the aim shot riser with the dynamiting lion progress key in it. He's the only rider of the three in this video to have multiple forms. My main inspiration being my favourite Zero One rider, Vulcan. I chose Dynamiting Lion because that is my favourite of the standard 25 progress keys, as you may have gathered from my first video on unused rider forms. Desna also wields the Atas shotgun in battle, and his real name is Retsukuva, a demolition specialist for Ames, locating and disarming any unexploded explosives devices planted by Metsubo Jinrai.net. Due to the dangerous nature of his job, he was given access to a shot riser, progress keys, and an detached shotgun, should he encounter any interference. While initially starting off with only two keys, a couple chance meetings with Gaiamatsu powered up his arsenal with two more, leaving him with four in the end. Desna's story would be explored in a spin-off drama for Zero One that I would call Kamen Rider Zero One spin-off drama, Roar of Desna. Lastly, his rider name is derived from a Soviet missile called the R9 Desna, befitting of his role in Ames, and his catchphrase is, it's time to blow it away. Dynamiting Lion is Desna's equivalent to Vulcan Shooting Wolf, which it basically has the same powers as, except the former's attacks have a more explosive kick to them. Desna's auxiliary form is Scouting Panda, again made by Koei Kefa, and accessed with the Scouting Panda progress key. This form has special tracking capabilities, which are capable of locating abnormal energy readings emitted by Metsubo Jinrai planted explosives. Its blasts from both the Shot Riser and the Atas Shotgun have homing capabilities, allowing Desna to disarm enemies faster while in pursuit of unexploded explosives. Here it is next to Vulcan's auxiliary form, Punching Kong. They don't really have anything in common other than their common status as their respective riders' auxiliary forms. Now onto Desna's power-up forms, starting with Riot Lion, yet again made by Koei Kefa, and accessed with the Assault Wolf-style Riot Lion progress key, with the Riot Grip attached. This was the first of Retsu's two keys given to him by Gaiamatsu himself, secretly made by the Ark from the battle data of the Dynamiting Lion and Assault Wolf progress keys. 
Although it wasn't made with MetsuoJinrai.net in mind, it had a latent connection to the Ark, allowing Retsu to use it without any of the downsides that Assault Wolf initially had. And for comparison, here is Riot Lion next to its Vulcan equivalent, Assault Wolf. Here is Desna's final form, Savage Desna. Once again made by Koei Effort and accessed with the Rampage Gatling style Savage Battling Progress Key. This was the second of Retsu's Progress Keys given to him by Guy, but this time for the withheld means of putting Desna under his personal control. The key was made by the Ark from the data of 10 Progress Keys. Dynamiting Lion, Scouting Panda, Crushing Buffalo, Splashing Whale, Storming Penguin, Fighting Jackal, Invading Horseshoe Grab, Sparking Draft, Exciting Stag, and Trapping Spider. Having recently learned of what happened to Fuei Samu, Kamen Rider Vulcan after he obtained Rampage Vulcan, Retsu took the key for himself, was able to break through the mind control, and fought Amatsu, Kamen Rider Falza, one on one himself, severing his ties to him and Ames, and working solo as a free agent. Still an explosive disarmor, but also helping more in the escalating conflict against Metsubo Jinrai.net. For one last Vulcan vs Desna comparison, here is Desna next to its Vulcan equivalent, Rampage Vulcan. Now you may have noticed Desna doesn't have equivalents for two of Vulcan's forms, along with no equivalent for Naki. I don't intend on making those, but I do have non-canon what-if plans for Desna versions of those forms. Going in chronological order of the originals, first up is Kamen Rider Ryo. Desna's Naki equivalent, accessed with the Barbary Lion Zetsamurai's key in the Metsubo Jinrai Force Riser. Ryo translates to English as hunting. Secondly is Kamen Rider Nemean Desna. Desna's Orthoros Vulcan equivalent accessed with the Barbary Lion Zetsamurai's key in the Ames Shot Riser, named after the mythological Nemean Lion. Lastly is Kamen Rider Desna Proud Lion, his Vulcan Lone Wolf equivalent accessed with the Cave Lion Zetsamurai's key and Riot Grip in the Hidden Zero One Driver. Lastly, we'll scramble with the most recently finished season of Rider, Revice. My main Revice OC is called Kamen Rider Ekemo, made by JK5201 with the emblem once again designed by Marcolios. Unlike the last two, this guy was designed just last month. He uses the Juga Driver and the Twin Chimera style Ekemo Vice Stamp to transform. Juga was a surprisingly awesome Rider from the final month of Revice, and my main inspirations for Akemo were him and the Heisei and Reiwa Vice Stamps not used for Chimera, Daimon, or Juga, being Tricera, Komodo Dragon, Hashibiroko, Hedgehog, Buffalo, Kangaroo, Neobata, and Kashiki. Akemo's real name is Saburo Noguchi, and this story would be explored in the Revice spin off drama that I would call Kamen Rider Revice spin off drama Prelude to Juga. One of many Fennec soldiers, Saburo started late into the conflict against Gif, and thus didn't get much combat time. This was no problem for George Karazaki, who needed a test subject for a rider system he was working on for himself, even after both Gif and Azuma were gone. Karazaki equipped Saburo with a prototype of the Juga driver and the AKMO Vice Stamp, allowing him to become a Kamen Rider, fighting against the leftover demons. As for etymology, Ekemo is a portmanteau of the words eight and kimono, the latter being the Japanese word for beast, and Ekemo's catchphrase is all demons shall be slain by my hand. So my original plan for Ekemo wasn't even called Ekemo, and he was a demon style rider based on the Caucasus beetle, using the hedgehog and Kajiki vice stamps for Genomixes. But the idea evolved into what it is now, after Kamen Rider Juga made his debut, and Vice Stamp Selection 4 was revealed. Now the final design for Ekemo ended up being very different from the mock-up that I made. The mock-up design didn't have the planned colour scheme, used the Chimera driver, and had two of Juga's compound eyes on the helmet for eyes. The original stamp, while still planned to be blood red with black marbling, had Juga's emblem on the front. After I commissioned JK5201 and received the final design though, I ended up liking it enough that I changed my plans for Ekemo to fit it. Still sticking with the original concept of a Juga prototype using the Power of 8 Vice Stamps though. For one last comparison, here's Juga with Ekemo. So those were my free Rider OCs from my Cross Generations project. I do hope you all enjoyed that. I've got a link in the description with information on each OC down in the description which you all can check out if you want. If this video does well, I might make a sequel with me talking about more of my Rider OCs or Rider form ideas. 
Speaking of which, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment your thoughts, subscribe and share it. And I'll see all you valid peeps next time.